In this video, it's the brand new, this is the Apex 2 from Team Associated, but this is the new Dotson body, the new Dotson 620. I haven't had one of Team Associated's on-road touring cars yet, so let's get this out of the box, see what it looks like, get it all set up for its first drive. Oh, check the truck out. That looks really cool, actually. I love the body design, and I love that they kind of did it as a tuner style with the wing. And on, you know, on here, what you can see is there's more stickers that give it some of the additional flair. The stickers are also included in the box, so we can put those on here in a minute and see what that looks like. It comes with Team Associated standard XP120 controller. Comes in like all of the different vehicles. Here's some additional plastics and everything that come in the kit, along with the manual here for the controller. Honestly, the thing here, the Apex 2 Sport, as a chassis, has been around for a while. The magic is this new body that I think a lot of the folks in the RC Drift world are going to really, really want their hands on. I mean, look at this. We got the wipers. We have the mirrors. We have the hard plastic molded in grill front splitter down here at the front. We have the hard wing in the back. I mean, it just, it just looks good. Like we have to, we have to try that. The body is just really killer here. And when we transition to underneath the body, we see this is the standard Apex 2 chassis that Team Associated has had. The truth is, it is a very robust, durable, nicely laid out chassis. Yes, all plastic as far as chassis components and everything go, as you may expect, but has some of that Team Associated kind of pedigree when you can see some of the design here for racing. But I am noticing it does not look like these rear links for tow does not look like they are adjustable same with the front everything here is looking fixed so you do not have any suspension adjustment that i can see but we are talking about metal driveline you can see the metal gear here like this thing should be very durable vehicle as you're out trying to use it the shocks are an oil filled shock they are they do look to be a full plastic body but oil filled shock which is nice the reedy brushed setup in it so it's not going to set the world on fire as far as speed goes right out of the box it is the 550 motor which means we should have plenty of torque and some ability to gear up and make it even faster but it is not a brushless setup that would give us even that extra power, potentially that extra speed. Overall, though, I was checking this out with my son, actually, and he and I looked at it, and it's like, this thing looks like a tank. It looks like it would take every amount of abuse that you throw at it and then some. This tub chassis and everything looks super durable. Now, this truck does not come fully ready to run. You actually need to put two things in it. You need four AA batteries for the controller itself. You need some kind of 2S LiPo battery. I'm going to try this Ovonic 2200 2S first. It will fit in this little battery tray in the center here just beautifully. Um, I do not use uh, the T or Dean style plug like that is on here, but I do have an adapter. So I will be using that and putting that in here. That's going to what we can use for our first test run. Before I drive it, I really want to spice the body up a little bit. And so I'm looking at this sticker kit that's provided here, page 16 of the manual. And they actually give you a hint as to where they think all the stickers should go, how it should look. So if you want to mirror the box art, here's where you get that information. If you want to kind of put your own twist on it, then obviously do with them as you want. I've got the batteries in the controller, battery in the vehicle all strapped down. We have steering, we have throttle and brake. I'm gonna try to drive this thing two different places. One just here in my garage, quick, just fun figure eight around the track here. And then we need to get outside and try it in like a bigger space.
initial impressions here in the garage, pretty fun. And I like the fact that on power, it likes to try to oversteer a little bit. That's pretty good. Let's get fresh battery in it and head outside. come up here if you're full throttle and you're just trying to turn it will push it does i mean it'll turn but it will yeah it keeps very attentive. definitely front end limited but but you can come up and turn hit the brakes and look at that oh that's fun it does it better one direction than the other it must be something with the diff so if i go left it'll do it beautifully if i go right it just stops But if I go left, it'll slide. <laughs> now to try 3S. You could literally think this thing was a drift car every now and again. <laughs> so 3S much better than 2S. <laughs> I can do a full turn around. Well, to the left. To the right, it still won't do it, but to the left, it'll do it. Yeah, like that. That is. All right, runs done with the team associated, the Datsun 620. The front bumper, a little more scraped up now than it was before. Uh, the tires though, oh just my like, gosh. They're just gone. They, uh, the tires though, uh, yep. They had tread on them at one time, but it turns out when yeah. you have fun in the parking lot. You see this right here, there's like little lines right there that, that used to be all the, like in all the places. Yeah. yeah, you can almost see it on this one rear tire. You can see some of the tread left there. But yeah, it turns out we had fun sliding around a parking lot. Um, James, I would say 3S, so much more fun than 2S. Yeah. Yeah, so 3S, if you're going to drive this, you probably want to drive it on 3S. Uh, so much easier to do sliding around, so much easier, more speed, like... 3s was where it's at the motor though is nice and toasty now with that 3s yeah. runs it's hot out here though i mean like it's almost 90 degrees outside right now so maybe not super surprising that the uh yeah. that the motor got hot but i think a brushless upgrade would probably do this thing wonders what do you think should we put some like crazy silly brushless motor in it and see what yeah. happens <laughs> like x-max <-Maxim>. yeah. <laughs> something really big and powerful fun vehicle overall first impressions really well built drives really well does have i think i'm guessing it's something to do with the differential layout definitely handles different turning left than right which is yeah. unfortunate it was noticeable i mean very noticeable yeah. um like but a one. really fun car for the price it's a good value the body looks amazing yeah. really really fun thing everybody who's seen it has been like oh man look at that it looks so cool uh, if you're in the market for an all-wheel drive on-road touring car fun thing to bash around in a parking lot this thing could be a good choice so yeah. Thanks for watching. If you're curious about any other vehicles that we've reviewed, there's a whole vehicle reviews playlist that'll pop up to your right. We'll see you there. Thank you and goodbye.